Healthy Voyages presents you this video on lipoprotein profile test. Today we are going to see about lipoprotein profile test and how to use it effectively for heart health assessment. If you are concerned about your good health then you don't want to miss this video. Stay tuned. What is lipoprotein profile test? This cholesterol test provides information about total cholesterol LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol and triglycerides using ultra centrifugation or chemical precipitation and provides the cholesterol level results in milligram per dl or millimoles per liter. Even though lipoprotein profile test is useful for cholesterol diagnosis, still it is better to combine additional tests for an accurate picture of total heart health. Lipoprotein profile test, how to use it to the fullest? Lipoprotein profile test measures cholesterol level in the lipoprotein particles VLDL, LDL and HDL. Other names for lipoprotein profile test are lipid profile test and lipid panel test. This cholesterol test provides information about the total cholesterol TC. It is the sum of all cholesterol by breaking down all lipoprotein particles. LDL cholesterol LDLC it is the cholesterol in the low density lipoprotein LDL so called bad cholesterol HDL cholesterol HDLC it is the cholesterol in the high density lipoprotein HDL so called good cholesterol triglycerides it is the most common form of fat in the blood this number shows triglycerides in all the lipoprotein particles Triglycerides are mostly present in the very low density lipoprotein VLDL. Total cholesterol TC is equal to LDLC plus HDLC plus VLDLC. That is total cholesterol is the cholesterol from all lipoprotein particles VLDL, LDL and HDL. Testing labs measures HDL cholesterol by separating other lipoprotein fractions. HDL cholesterol quantify cholesterol in HDL particles. Most labs estimate the concentration of low density lipoprotein cholesterol using Freddy Walt formula. This indirect LDL cholesterol estimation is unreliable when triglyceride levels are too high or low. Freddy Walt formula to calculate LDL cholesterol LDLC is equal to TC minus HDLC minus TG divided by 5. This formula is based on a typical composition of VLDL. This formula is useful only if the triglyceride is within 100 to 400 milligrams per deciliter. Otherwise, it will give wrong LDLC number. If the triglyceride is below 100, then you can use this formula. LDLC in milligram per deciliter is equal to TC divided by 1.19 plus TG divided by 1.9 minus HDL divided by 1.1 minus 38 or LDLC in millimoles per liter is equal to TC divided by 1.19 plus TG divided by 0 0.81 minus HDL divided by 1.1 minus 0 0.98. Reference the impact of low serum triglyceride on LDL cholesterol estimation published in Archives of Iranian Medicine 2008. Many testing labs provides non-HDL cholesterol by calculating total cholesterol minus HDL cholesterol. There is a flaw in this cholesterol test. It measures just cholesterol in the lipoprotein particles. This test does not provide the size or number of particles. Various studies confirms that the small LDLs and HDLs has been linked with cardiovascular risk. Additionally, high LDL particle and low HDL particle numbers are also risk towards heart disease. However, lipoprotein particle number and size measurement tests are costlier compared with the traditional lipoprotein profile test. Additionally, it is not widely available. How to make the most of the lipoprotein profile test? LDL has a close association with heart disease, but there are two LDL variants. One is large, buoyant, not associated with heart disease. Another is a small, dense, associated with heart disease. High triglyceride level 
has confirmed risk towards heart disease. If you do not have access to LDL particle measurement, then the next best markers are triglycerides and HDL cholesterol. High levels of triglyceride indicate the presence of small LDL particle, insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome. Low HDL cholesterol and high triglyceride levels indicate the presence of dangerous LDL B particles that is high triglyceride level over 120 mg per deciliter or 1.35 millimoles per liter. HDL levels of below 40 mg per dl are 1.03 millimoles per liter in men and 50 mg per deciliter or 1.29 millimoles per liter in women. Low level of triglycerides indicates the presence of harmless LDL A particles. Usually the elevated triglyceride is due to high VLDL. Lowering triglyceride levels proportionally converts the LDL particles from small dense into large fluffy molecules. TG by HDL ratio. Study shows triglyceride by HDL cholesterol ratio of over 3.8 increases the chances of phenotype B, LDL B particle. Reference accuracy of the triglyceride to high density lipoprotein cholesterol ratio for prediction of low density lipoprotein phenotype B. Published in American Journal of Cardiology, Volume 94, Issue 2. The triglyceride by HDL cholesterol ratio is useless for African Americans. They do not have high triglycerides, even with severe insulin resistance, because they own a different lipase that metabolizing triglyceride expression. Their insulin resistance should assess by glucose abnormalities, obesity and hypertension. It is not by high triglyceride and or low HDL cholesterol. LDL particle assessment for lipid profile test. Patients with triglyceride over 130 mg per dl or 1.47 millimoles per liter indicates high ApoB particles. TG by HDLC ratio can predict the LDL size, not particle concentration LDLP. But most patients with small LDLs has increased number of LDL particles. Reference triglyceride to HDL cholesterol ratio in the dyslipidemic classification of type 2 diabetes published in Diabetes Care 2005. Non-HDLC is a better marker of cardiovascular risk than LDLC. Non-HDLC is a better way to correlate with LDL particle number. Also, it is immediately available from the lipid profile test. Total cholesterol minus HDL cholesterol gives non-HDL cholesterol, that is non-HDLC is equal to TC minus HDLC. Non-HDLC and ApoB are the best predictor of CHD than the cholesterol it carries. Reference non-high density lipoprotein cholesterol and apolipoprotein B in the prediction of coronary heart disease in men. Published in Circulation 2005. That's all from this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Show your love by giving thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Request you to share with your buddies and welcome your thoughts in the comment section.